Hey guys, Chris with Right Rocks here. We are out with Joe Dadbod down there. And he's got his uh, rope cut to check out. And it's got uh, lots of druzy, calcite, uh, and some dolomite. But got quite the selection here. Let's take a, take a look around and let's start chipping up some stuff, see what we can take home with us. Let's check it out. All right, guys, Joe's got his tools. He's ahead of us. I got to get to the truck and get mine. But he's going to get the good stuff. We better hurry. That's right. <laughs> Been picking away at this hole here that is lined with some calcite, which I think is possibly dog tooth calcite. Got one little chunk to pop off there. Let's see if we can get some bigger pieces. We're just trying to get it to start, start cracking open for me. Let's see what else we can get. Joe's been down there working on that end down there. Just gave us this. Just gave us this real nice piece. Put that in the bucket. Thank you, Joe. Hey, you're welcome, man. <laughs> All right, that hole just ain't let me in there. I've tried to get in there. We'll come back to it later. As you see, looking around here, we got some druzy up in here. Up through here, we got calcite. We got all sorts of stuff. All right, there's some of the dolomite even. But there's all sorts of stuff here. So we're not going to waste our time on that one hole. We'll look around some more, see what we can get easily real quick. These little things are all over the place. Let's see what else we get. I got this little calcite poker right here. Not my light, but it goes in there a ways. And yeah, there it's kind of focusing. Might try to get some of that. Some of it that's a little bit up further up. We'll leave this one down here for Joe where he's working. <laughs> up here, kind of browsing around in the weeds up top up here, and, and a nice little piece of drizzy down here. I think I'll take. Just walking all along to either. Sorry about the road noise. We're here at a road cut, of course. There's another little piece of drizzy just sitting here. Another one right there. And right there too. Mm -hmm. No side that we want to take. Doesn't look like it. We'll keep looking. Alright, check this area out here, guys. It's like a big old wall. The cow says, look at that big old. Big old area. There's all up in here. Not sure if I'll pick around at this or not, maybe. So we got some drizzy down here. Just a weird, weird, funky little area here. Got that formation. If there's anything in the hole, probably be a critter down in there somewhere. Calcite running in it right there. It's more of the calcite, maybe drizzy in that. Just pick this little piece of calcite off here that was just barely hanging on. After in this little spot here of it. But that would be calcite. This piece here was just sitting on the ground. Decent little chunk with a little bit of a matrix on it. Take that home and get it cleaned up. And look down and we even got little chunks of drizzy just laying around all down here. There's a hole. Just went to my bucket to unload that other rock and saw that nice piece of drizzy up here. Looks like it's even got some calcite attached to it right there a little bit. I'm scraping around even this little little chunk of it just popped out do some cleanup on it but we'll take that and try to get this big one out of here all right i got that rock dug out it's got a piece of drizzy right here and of course that one big area that we saw but it's just a little bit too much rock and not enough drizzy for me to take it i might try to get up underneath that one and see if i can get that to break loose but i did find a handful of other little drizzy pieces that were coming up in the dirt Probably from a 
breaking down, decaying over the years off this one that I dug up. Probably where they were all at up through here. I might try to get that and call it good. And we'll move on. Every time I go get my tools or unload my bucket, I start walking around, I find just more places, but you see there's a lot of drizzy down there, but those are all through here. All along through there. Come down here. I think I might be able to get that little piece off there. We'll get us a little something. I might try to I don't know if we can get that off there or not. We might. We'll try it. See what we get. I think that's a little loose piece in there, maybe. No, that's a patch. Nice little chunk of it. There's tons of this stuff out here. Your yeah, little piece was there. There we go. Take that one. All right, I'm back at the cast that I was at earlier where all of it's running all through here. I'm even standing on some of it. And it runs along there. Up in here. See, it's like a little bit of a hole here. I saw that big old chunk, and I'm like, I'd like to get that, but I don't know if it'll come, but I think we got it. A little part of it. Oh, yeah, look at there. I think that's the biggest chunk of cow that I've pulled out of southwest Missouri. Very nice. I'll for sure take that one. Down there. He's been working further down there. Says, check out this piece of cow that he's got. Look at that. It's got a little bit of purple in it. I have not seen purple in the cow side around here or at all. Me either. Let's see if we can get some more of it down there. Thanks for this piece though, Joe. Good, good <laughs> luck finding more. <laughs> All right, I got the rest of the half out of there. It gave me just chunks, but still they're nice big chunks of calcite. I like when they're in the little cubes like that still. Like that one. It's another decent one there. A little, little iridescence in there too. And then we got a little one also. And there's still plenty here. All right, I've kind of wandered off again. My tools and that cow are right up on top here. Joe wanted to show me another piece, and there I went wandering again, kind of looking around in holes. And as you see, he's finding some decay and druzy up here all over the place. There's another one there. We got a few pieces up here laying it already. We first started looking. But I started getting up in this hole and peeling stuff back. You know, so there's another piece of drizzy. But as you see right here, we got some calcite. It looks like it's pretty weathered, even though it's under here, but it's real brittle. It's falling apart, but I got this one to come loose. Not a bad piece of calcite. We'll probably go ahead and take it. A little yard rock. But I might get my pry bar in here and try to get under here a little bit, but I already know it's really, really brittle. There's some drizzy quartz mixed in right there, and then right here would be calcite also. But yeah, see, you see it's just falling apart real easy. There's another piece of drizzy. Another one right here. Nope. But we'll get the pry bar underneath these and see if they don't come out whole or not. And we'll be back. All right, I got my little crow pry bar here. I'm really surprised this thing is set up underneath it and it looks like it's starting to come up and see it's coming up in one big chunk, but it's going over this way a little bit. There's another little piece of nice drizzy. But we might go get up to the tree right in the way here. Have to get, get up and out of the way a little bit. They also want to be easy because they're not just sitting underneath it even, but I'll keep trying and see if we can't get this thing out of here in one piece, hopefully. Well, I gotta wiggle it around, worked on it for a while. It just really decayed and there really ain't nothing nothing worth taking home really a few pieces came off and i'll go ahead and take that 
that chunk there. That one. And these other little few small ones. You can see right there how, how bad they're weathered. Being out here so long. I don't think I'll try to get anything off of it else off of it see what else we can find been walking along the edge here kind of scoping stuff kind of having a little snack and down here see there's a bunch of dog tooth calcite down in here Check out that be nice to be able to get that i don't think i can get that little piece out of there it keeps going around over here and I think I might be able to get this one it's already got cracks around it going around but you see up here we got dolomite layer of that and then some more of the calcite that looks like calcite and then druzy coated over some of it see the calcite over here yeah and that's druzy pretty wild out here there's just a bunch but I'm gonna see if I can't get that little piece out of there All right, I've been hammering on it from the top up here, hanging off this ledge. Got this piece to come off. Check that piece out, that's nice. Dog tooth calcite. And it did have another piece over here, but we're gonna have to go down there because it is now right there. But we'll get it though. I gotta set my chisel up there. That way I know exactly where it's at down here. And here's the other piece that we're looking for. Some more of that dog tooth on it. And down on the lower area here. You can see there are just buckets of calcite everywhere through here. A lot of these are already weathered. There's a little bit up here that's not. We might be able to get this little chunk out of here. Just like some of it's weathered like that. We got some lining on the top of the roof. And we got little pockets of them. Everybody driving by wondering what are those guys doing looking at those rocks. More there, but these things are just they're lined up everywhere down this wall. There you go. I'm gonna get my tools and get at some more. See what else we get. Let's see if I can hold my camera here while I do this because I'm literally hanging right on the edge and it's a little bit of a drop. But up in this thing, there's calcite. I can get to focus. There's calcite on the top here too. What I've been doing, we're trying to lead on it a little bit from the top to hopefully try to get into some of this. But I had a piece come loose. Ooh, where's that right over there? I think, yep. Looks like that's gonna. Ooh, where's it on the screen? There we go. Looks like that's gonna be druzy on the top side, and then it's got the calcite layer right underneath with it. So we'll see if we can work some more of this big rock, and then that'll get us down to where we can get down here with this calcite a little bit better. Let's keep going. Got another small piece loose. Oh, just a little, little small pocket of the calcite, I do believe is what that is. Possibly druzy, but I think it's the calcite. Keep cracking at it. And it's still up here pecking the same area. Got more of it out right here right now. This is what we're mainly after. I gotta get underneath it, but I didn't want the upper to damage it once it started coming up. But I know we got a plate that fell down in here. I haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah. I think that's gonna be more of the druzy. We'll take that. Decent little decent little plate of it, nice and thin. Pretty nice cleaned up. But now it's getting opened up some more. Wow, it's really hard to sit here though. But it is opening up for us. You can see that little piece right there is going to give us something. A 
think I can finally wrap for this piece. Let's try to get it out of there. All right, still working in that hole. And you see, I got a few more of the greasy pieces out. I got that little one out that has a little bit of the dog tooth calcite and the druzy mixed in. And speaking of this piece right here, we got a good one down here. And I've already seen it. Pull it out and I put it back in where I got it. But what we have here is a mixture of druzy and calcite. And there's got the dog tooth calcite on it. Mixed in with that druzy. And it looks kind of the smoky color drizzy, but probably after it dries up a little bit, it will probably just be all clear like the other ones. But that is an awesome piece with the calcite attached to it also. Just keep going. The hole's getting bigger and bigger on us. That's what we like. Just keep going. Okay, still working in this area. Still have not got that piece out. It's getting real funky down there. So I'm still trying to clear out some more from the top. I got this whole big old piece here coming. I hope I can do this with one hand because I know it's got a fracture in it. But I'm thinking we'll have something underneath it. Oh yeah, I see some dolomite already. Let's see. Nope. Oh, just a little bit of the dog tooth calcite. Just a little bit on there. Might leave it. I don't know. I'll set it aside for now because it's kind of a big matrix on it. But let's get this other little piece off. And you see there's some calcite running right through there also. Let's see if anything's on that one. Nope. Just keep going. Well, I had to work like crazy, but we have finally got it loose. Now all the calcite. Actually, I think that's drizzy on this one. It'll be all on this side too. Once it's cleaned up, it's got all my dust on it now. But we will take her. Still packing along right here's where the big one was that I was working on. And this one here just came loose. Take her home too. Set it in the pile. Yeah, we're working on like a little plate of it here. It's all along here, but you have to kind of try to get this side of it here. Uh, getting close to quitting time almost. So, I mean, this stuff is just everywhere up here, everywhere you look. But we'll still work just a little bit more. Move it ahead there. See what else we find before we have to leave. Didn't think I'd get this one, being that it's kind of hidden under this rock here. Kind of get you at the right angle here. I've been chiseling, working around. So I got a small piece. See if I can get it right. Right there. A little bit on it. That will get this big one out of here. Tool out of the way. Two getting it cleaned up. Should look pretty nice. This dog tooth calcite. Just got another one loose here. I'd really like to have that piece right there. But I don't think I can get it out. The way it's all kind of flat here, but I'm working around here. I've got that one loose. I can keep some damage in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, those things stand up. Very nice. Take that one with us too. Okay, I kind of went looking around a little bit again, but now I'm 
I'm gonna scale the side of this wall here. I'll be up here with this thing, but look at that. That's just a big old pocket of what looks like be druzy, I think, in there. Yeah, it's druzy. Let me just show my hand. I got it's just a big old pocket of it. And right here. It's all around, just like a almost like a geode. Now how far back in there it goes. Yeah, she goes all the ways up in there. Don't know if we can get any of it though, being in the spot it's at. Before I leave, I came back up, back up to this calcite little vein here. And just popping some of the chunks off of it. Decent sized ones though. Down here I got another big one I've been hacking at. A few of them looks like. Another piece. It's pretty weathered. Might leave it here. Yeah, I might take that piece get a little bit of a shine to it. I'm going to take around a little bit more before we go, but I'm about done here for the day. Alright, we're getting all packed up. We're going to head out. Be sure to check out Joe Dadbod on YouTube. I'll put his link in the description. We're going to head home, clean some of these up, show you what they look like. Let's get packed up and go home. Bye-bye.